Hello guys, if you're new here, my name is Lindsay. Today I wanted to share with you guys my updated everyday jewelry collection. The last time I did this video was about a year ago and all the pieces that I featured the last time, I still wear them. They're still part of my everyday jewelry collection. And over the course of the year, I have added new pieces and I've also managed to upcycle some of my older pieces. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So let's jump right into the video. I want to start off with what I'm wearing. It is no surprise that I'm wearing idol pieces and I will be talking about idol because if you follow me on this channel, you know that I love the brand and they are part of my everyday jewelry pieces. And also not only have these pieces been gifted to me, I've also spent my own money purchasing pieces from them and I've also gifted their jewelry to my loved ones so it's a brand that I shop from and I've also received gift from and I've worked with so if you're not familiar with the brand Idol they are a kind sustainable lab grown diamond they carry the most beautiful selection of jewelry some of the pieces can be worn both as necklaces and earrings also the gold that they carry is 14 karat gold I've worn their jewelry for a really long time now and I can say that they don't tarnish you can wear them pretty much every day in the shower I've swam in them in chlorinated pool and they haven't had any tarnishing beautiful sustainable jewelry if you're interested I will link everything in the description box below you can check them out for starters I am wearing the Isa the Isa pendant which is 0.50 carat that was sent to me recently and it is I think one of my most favorite pieces from them if I had to pick just one it would be this guy and maybe the earrings any of the add-on earrings because I am in love with this. I don't think I've ever fallen in love with a pendant as much as this one. I'm wearing it vertical, but it can also be worn horizontal. And I'm wearing it on the Idol gold chain, which is one of my favorites. You can wear it in three different sizes, their gold chain. So I'm wearing it in the longest length. So moving on to my earrings, as you can tell, I am wearing two different earring tops. The add-on pieces is Leah. It's a new piece in my collection. When I was referring to upcycling pieces, uh, both of these earrings, this diamond earring was gifted to me by my aunt. It was a hand-me-down from her a really long time ago. I've had it over, it's, I think it's safe to say over seven years. And this pearl earring too, I've had it with me ever since a little girl. Uh, my mom got it for me. I've had these guys in my collection for a while and I've just stopped wearing them. Especially the pearl felt a little more traditional to me so I stopped wearing them but now ever since I started stacking my this diamond cluster earrings that my aunt had got me with these add-on pieces and because of that I've gone back to using my old jewelry pieces and given them fresh life new look I've just started re-enjoying these pieces and this is a really old diamond disc kind of earring that my aunt had got me I've added on the Leah bottom and it just gives the earring a whole new look, I feel. And even my traditional pearl earrings that my mom had got me, just adding the Leah on the bottom gives it such a cool look. And I can stack these earrings with pretty much any one of the pieces. Like say for instance, this diamond disc, I could stack up multiple pieces if I wanted. Multiple pieces, why am I not able to speak today? So the modular pieces come with multiple insert holes. This simple diamond earring just got elevated. This has totally changed my jewelry game. Let me stack these guys for you. Okay. My earlobes are a little red, but this is what they look like. This just totally changes my jewelry ear game for me just because now I can use so much of my older jewelry pieces that I had stored away. So this is Lucia Jade and kind of like the tear shaped guy. This guy here is called Leah. Looks so good. 
anyways i'm just gonna leave one of my ears available so i can show you guys the earrings that i'm wearing i am going to leave the pearl piece on moving on to the next piece of earring uh let's see which one should we do i don't know if i featured this guy on my previous 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 video it's a really simple diamond hoop again this is something you can buy here but i feel like you can find really good alternatives so i usually wear this when i'm trying to go for a more feeling very feminine or want to add a very girly feminine touch to an outfit i like to throw on these pearl pieces so that's another piece that i'm still enjoying still wearing another piece that i thought i didn't like anymore is this gold hoop that i've been wearing a lot more recently it looks heavy it's a little more chunky and small but it's hollow on the inside i believe this is 22 karat gold which is why it's a very rich yellow gold but i've been wearing this for casual outfits and i think it looks cute i've also recently restarted wearing headbands i know these are in trend but it really takes me back to my young high school years so i like wearing this with that headband i think it looks cute if i'm able to find a photo i will insert it here otherwise you guys just have to trust me that it looks cute with it but this is a pretty stranded gold hoop i'm pretty sure you can find something like this on either the high street or even in like slightly more expensive uh like in 14 karat gold you could find this or if you're not looking to spend 14 karat gold prices i'm pretty sure you can find something that's silver coated in generally i do prefer buying jewelry that is either 14 karat gold 18 karat gold and a lot of the bespoke pieces that i own are mostly 22 karat gold just because that's how they create jewelry in asia i feel like they just wear better i really stopped buying costume jewelry i have an I think I'd like to think I have a pretty okay collection of Chanel jewelry and I've just stopped buying them. I don't think I would even buy another one unless I see a piece that I really like. But I've stopped wearing most of my Chanel earrings. I think I used to wear them a lot at one point. I just stopped wearing them. I'm Come to think of it, I think I could even add uh, these add-on pieces with my Chanel earring. I might try it with some of the smaller smaller CC Chanel earrings. Mm, still in the earring department. I'm sorry, I have my jewelry here, so I'm keep looking here. So in terms of earrings that I still wear a lot on repeat, uh, some of the earrings that I showed you last time and I still wear is uh, these guys this is a diamond hoop kind of jewelry almost looks like leaves but they are beautiful i think they add a little sparkle to your look and then i have this guy it's also in that similar style but it looks a little more structural and i feel like it looks a little more edgier both of these pieces i wear quite a bit i think you guys have seen it on my channel i'm not able to link these pieces but i'm pretty sure you can find similar style of jewelry so this is what this one looks like and the other piece is this guy again all of these pieces i feel for me our everyday jewelry pieces and i know that some of us like to wear the nicer pieces on special occasion and some of us enjoy wearing our nice pieces every day i think it's a personal choice and i don't think there's anything wrong with it because i know in the last video someone left a comment saying that if i paid so much for a von cleef or cartier why would i wear it something along those lines why would i wear it every day i see their point of view but for me, these jewelry I consider more as an everyday piece. Like I want to wear it without worrying about it. And I think they're versatile enough that I can wear it every day with any kind of outfit. As opposed to some of the heirloom pieces that I have from my mom that I don't even leave them at home. They're in a safe. I don't wear them all the time. I would maybe wear it if I'm going to a special event or if it's weddings. 
otherwise I don't wear them so those pieces are my special occasion pieces but I get it I get everyone has a, I guess everyone has different opinions regarding that I don't think that person is wrong for feeling that way because I, ha I feel that way about certain jewelry that I own so it's more of a personal personal preference I think so another one of the drop pieces that I think you could do as a special occasion for night outs is this add-on piece so this guy which is the coco absolutely gorgeous this piece you can wear it both as a necklace and earring and the first time i saw this i had seen jessica alba wearing it i was now working with idol at the time and i had bookmarked it and saved it for future purchase this one i've worn it as a necklace and i've also used it as an add-on piece I'm going to try to add these pieces on to one of my own jewelry just so you can see how these can be worn. Let me test out and see which one I like more. Do I go for the extra pizzazz with the diamond earring and this? Do you guys like it like so? I think it's so cute. I need to clean my earrings and jewelry and haven't done it. I was supposed to do it the last time and I got lazy. Let's see how that looks the camera so far away this would definitely be something because i've worn this out on a regular day but i think like this it would make such a cute date night when you're going out for dinner drinks at the bar which i haven't done in a minute all right so this is what it looks like so this is what i was referring to earlier when i was talking about upcycling my pieces but these guys have just been sitting in my closet and not being used and i love love the ideal modular pieces for that they've literally given my jewelry a new life so i haven't worn it this way this is the first time i'm trying it out i'm actually trying most of the layering piece with you guys now because the thing about me is sometimes i guess just so comfortable with the piece that i'm wearing that i don't bother switching it out so some of these pieces that I'm layering right now is also the first time I'm trying it on myself while I'm filming it with you guys. Mm, I did that. I did the cocoa. Should we switch out the cocoa with something else? Like so. I think it will look even cute with the pearl piece, I think. The one I'm wearing right now. Mm, let me wear on the other side just because it makes my life easier. I want to apologize for my hair ahead of time. It is super messy and not behaving. It is what it is. Let me see. Let me put a backing on this one. So I can show you guys, but I managed to bring all my jewelry without any backing. I'm sorry, guys, but so let me show you guys. I like it like that too. Oh, it's so cute. I just got a new piece of earring. And then you know if i want it i could add more options on there but if i want to look like i have multiple piercings i could go like this like how cute is that another question that i get a lot from my idol earring i get dms regarding the actual diamond earring i have the biggest size they have the diamond studs in three different sizes i have the biggest size there's like no fuss this is sort of the base layer and you can add the modular pieces on top. It is in the size large, which is not massive to begin with. If you're looking for something beautiful, understated classic, but nothing too big, then I think the diamond studs are a nice piece to have to your collection. And if you also have additional piercing, I think this might work. This is one combo I've done quite a bit in the recent, past recent weeks so beautiful in terms of earrings those are the ones that i'm always wearing let me throw on a piece right now that way i'm not feeling like i don't have anything on my ears so what i do sometimes is i will wear a longer piece on one side just have the shorter modular piece on the other side i haven't styled it this way but i'm actually loving it quite so much with the pearl because i just recently got the pearl out from the locker let's move on to rings everyday ring because i don't have a lot of everyday rings that i wear these rings are the rings i'm about to show you are mostly bespoke pieces i don't have a lot of rings that i've actually purchased from the stores other than the cartier pieces this is an astrology ring i believe it's a garnet with gold this one is an emerald pinky ring and the other piece is 
this pinky finger ring I just love a pinky pinky finger ring 22 karat gold I believe and this stone I believe is a black onyx this is one piece that you see me wear quite a bit it's an emerald men's ring this is again one of the one of my favorite pieces as I mentioned previously I am going through an emerald phase and this is the usual Cartier love ring that cutie got me many moons ago it's my promise ring and I don't take it off and this Cartier Juice and Clue I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that name but I got this at Dubai duty free so I didn't pay tax on this it's a pretty st standard layering ring that you can just throw on and not have to think too much about these pieces and other diamond pieces rings that I wear quite often is again all hand-me-downs from my mom so this is actually an antique setting ring and I receive a lot of compliments on this it's a black diamond ring with an antique setting I think my mom has really good taste in terms of jewelry and even my aunt they gift me the most beautiful jewelry so this is another piece that I wear this is another piece from my mom also I love this because my sister and I both have this and my mom has one for herself too so she got us three obviously the one that my mom has a lot bigger diamonds but you know she made us uh, similar mini versions for my sister and I and I don't think my sister wears hers so much because she's more of she's more of like dainty pieces and she doesn't really like really large diamonds I think with me <laughs> I like the best of both worlds. I can go with dainty, but I can also go with large bespoke pieces. Uh, another ring that I also wear quite often is another one from my mom. It's this guy here. Hand me down from my mama bear. I love this one. And I love that it almost looks like I'm wearing multiple rings, but it's actually just one single piece. And the last piece is, is this guy here. It's quite beautiful. Let me take off this just some glue. So I can either wear it like so or like this. Although I do prefer wearing it the other way around. Again, this is something that you cannot purchase it in the US, but I'm pretty certain you could find something similar. If I'm able to find something similar, I'll definitely link it. But it's just a very pretty dainty piece. Let's move on to necklaces. In terms of necklace, I've this is one that I'm wearing quite often too. It's a choker, diamond choker sort of. I don't believe it's real diamond this one. I think it's lab grown diamonds. I don't know, it's a hand-me-down from my sister. And I wear this both I wear this both as a choker. Also, sometimes I wrap it around like a tennis bracelet, this one. Mm, I don't think I showed you guys this one, but this is another one from my mom. When I wear this, it almost looks like I'm wearing a gold chain with diamonds on it, but it's actually just white gold. And it's just the way that it's cut, it almost makes it look like it's diamond. It's a really nice layering piece or uh, another piece that you can just wear as is. I think it's quite nice. I still wear all my idol pendants. This one is the six piece diamond that you've seen me wear numerous times on here. I love the idol gold chain so much. Let me just show you for comparison. So this is one of my oldest pieces. I've had it for now, what, two years? And I pretty much wear this all the time. And let me show you guys right next to my Cartier pieces. The gold chain looks so good with it. Some of the gold chains that you, you find when you put them next to your Cartier or your Von Cleef pieces, it immediately looks, I don't know if it's, it lacks the luster. It immediately makes it look so, I don't want to use the word cheap, but it makes it look not of the same quality. I don't know Jane doesn't look like that. It is right up there in terms of quality and it is such a beautiful layering piece. If you do have Cartier or Von Cleef pieces and you want the layering gold chain, I would 100% recommend the Idol solid gold chain. I still wear these guys. <coughs> my Cartier amulet and moonstone and my Von Cleef sweet alumbra and moonstone. I mentioned it to you guys last time too that this is an everyday jewelry piece for me and this is a timeless piece you can pretty much wear it anytime for any occasion oh sorry guys my camera keeps heating up i don't even know where i was in terms of the diamond pendant that idol carries uh 
I have the Solo 5 which I purchased and then I also have the Solo 3 which is this guy here that was sent to me by Idol. I've actually been enjoying wearing the Solo 1 which is tiny but so cute. It came with my initial necklace and I like to wear the initial separate as stands for cuties initial. I love wearing the Solo 1. It's tiny but it's so cute and I just love the way this one looks. So if you're looking for a first piece in terms of like necklace, I would recommend the Solo 1. It is the most beautiful understated beauty. For a tiny piece, this is so sparkly and if you do own the Von Cleef or the Cartier pieces and you want to layer it, this guy layers so beautifully. So I actually purchased the Solo 5 for our civil wedding. So it holds beautiful memories for me. I will insert a photo of me wearing it if I'm able to find it. Because I don't remember if I took a photo. <laughs> I mean, you would think that you would photograph it, right? But if I do have a photo of it, I will insert it here. I wore that to our civil wedding and I paired it with my emerald, really beautiful bespoke emerald pieces that mom had got me for my previous birthday so it's a really special piece i wanted a beautiful diamond necklace to go with it and i thought the solo five was the right occasion for the civil wedding and another piece that was this emerald piece i think i've worn it on the vlog here too layers beautifully with all my existing pieces just because it is a pop of color and it really stands out and i think the emerald shade really looks good on me with my dark hair i think it ties in really well so this is another everyday piece that i've been wearing quite a bit i believe i covered all of my necklaces yeah i think i did last but not least let me share with you my bracelets that i've been wearing these are the two pieces that i sometimes wear either layered or by itself diamond kind of like a tennis bracelet but i know i've seen similar ones i think from Ring Concierge. I will link it in the description box below. These are very timeless classic pieces that you can wear every day. It's not fussy. My sister is in between moves right now and uh, she just doesn't have the time to go to her locker to store away some of her jewelry and she's asked me to store her pieces in our locker and I will be going to drop that off later today. So I wanted to share with you guys some pieces that we both own and one of my favorite pieces from her collection this Von Cleef piece that mom got her for her baby shower i think this is one of my favorite pieces from her collection we actually went to buy this together when we went there she was going there to purchase something else but when we saw this it was without a doubt that this was the choice for her it is i'm pretty sure i'm gonna butcher this but it's the five motif i believe five motif right one two three four five yep five motif gyosh Gyosh, five motif gyosh alumbra bracelet. That is one of my favorite pieces from her collection. Two of the pieces that we both share is both gifted by me because I am a very sweet sister. She does spoil me a lot too. We both have the sweet alumbra and moonstone. I gifted her this for one of her birthdays. And the other piece that I got her is the Cartier amulet, but in the malachite i think i've shared it with you guys in the past i got it for another one of our birthdays is this guy here it's quite beautiful her style is definitely understated classic she does influence me on my jewelry choices and one of the gifts that i really enjoyed giving her was a diamond tennis bracelet for baby shower i thought that would make a special gift for her because i know she always wanted a tennis bracelet and something that's nice and substantial and i got it for her baby shower because i knew her husband was about to get her the love bracelet which was also on her wish list for the longest time and she received both of those on her baby shower which i think was a very special time for her to receive it let me try to insert a clip of her wearing it somewhere here her everyday stack so i think that's it. I I think I covered all the bases here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found some inspiration here. I know a lot of the pieces that I share are bespoke pieces and not something that you can purchase. So I will be mindful enough to find something similar in terms of style. And 
I would like to thank my idol family for sending me these beautiful jewelry that are part of my everyday collection and I wear them all the time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.